Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how I make naan without an oven. We are going to start off with 3 to 3.5 cups of whole wheat flour. You can substitute with regular all-purpose flour or bread flour if you prefer. To this we are going to add 2 teaspoons of instant yeast, 1 teaspoon salt, a pinch of baking soda, and two tablespoons of sugar. Mix everything really well, and then make a well in the middle of all the dry ingredients. Next, we're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of yogurt. Now we are gonna add two tablespoons oil, Now we will slowly add one and a half to two cups of water. We are not gonna throw in all the water all at once. We're gonna add it in small batches. Once your dough comes together nicely and forms a sticky, soft ball, it is ready to be set aside for a couple of hours. Today I will be serving these naan with chicken korma. My mutton korma recipe is in the description box and this is the same recipe except it's with chicken. I have also posted a written recipe in the description box for chicken korma. After a couple of hours, our dough has risen beautifully. We are going to take out our dough onto a surface that has a little bit of dry flour on it. And we are just going to knead it for another two minutes and just punch it down a little bit. Now I'm just going to cut this into even portions. This recipe does make about 8 to 10 depending on the size. I'm just going to roll each portion into a nice soft ball. And you're gonna let this sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. Now we are just gonna heat up our tava or griddle. We're gonna heat it up upside down on medium high heat. Now keep a small bowl of water next to you and start rolling up each dough ball. We're gonna roll it out into a flat disc that is about two to three millimeters thick. Now you are going to apply water on just one side of your dough disc. You will place this wet side down on your hot griddle. Cover with a lid and let it cook for about 30 to 40 seconds. After that, just flip it over. Do not let your non touch the fire you're just going to hover over about a couple of inches above the fire and look at that in just a minute or so our beautiful non is ready front and back and i'm just going to rub some butter on this it's so delicious it smells great it's very soft it's very very pillowy and it's going to go great with my chicken korma. I do hope you try this recipe. It's very easy. It's definitely worth it. And your family is going to love it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave me your feedback. I'll see you next time.